me luck, guys. It's something that's very much outside of my comfort zone, but I'm really looking forward to it because, you know, when you approach things that maybe you're not comfortable in, at first, of course, it's nerve-wracking, but that's really how we grow. Um, you know, they say life begins outside of your comfort zone, so I'm holding on to that as I take on this next challenge. So you guys will have to watch out for it on SNL Live. Um, this show is, of course, on TV5. My next question that you guys sent in, um, Dale.lzrs asks, what is it about? I suppose it's referring to what is SNL Live about. So SNL Live is a noontime show that will be airing this Sunday, October 18 on TV5. Um, it's not only an entertainment variety show, but we're also showcasing stories, which I think is something that's really cool that we're doing. And also we're featuring a lot of up and coming artists. And you guys can take it from me. I've been watching backstage um, and also seeing the performances rehearsing. We have some amazing guests on the show, so talented um, and just such masters at their craft. And I really think that it's wonderful that this stage will hopefully put a spotlight on that talent. Um, so really excited for you guys to get as excited as I am about them because they're really, really good. Um, I have another question from Miles.Milbs. Hi, Kat. We're so happy to see you back on TV. Will you, will we see you play an instrument on the show? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I think I'll leave it at singing and dancing for now um, and hosting. Um, but that already is, a, I feel like, a great challenge for me, um, especially sa Tagalog. And also just being on stage again after so long of, you know, just being working from home is a really beautiful feeling because as a performer, and if there's any performers who are watching, I'm sure you can relate, being on stage is a different sensation. And it's just been like it's it's lost a huge aspect of what it means to be on stage because it doesn't have an audience and if you're a performer and you're performing to an empty room it doesn't have that magic so um it's something that we're learning to kind of um, deal with because we as a group at SNLI we want to give the entertainment and the happiness to the homes that we're able to reach with our program um, especially during this time we have a lot of worries we have a lot of uncertainty we still feel the effects of the pandemic especially here in the Philippines so we hope through our new show um, starting this Sunday that we'll be able just to bring more joy more happiness into your homes every Sunday um, another question uh, Zed Zandrix <laughs> asks, are you a host or a performer? Or a host performer? I'm a host performer. So I'm really excited. Um, it's when I first saw the, the lineup of the prods and the kind of different setups of the stage, my excitement just grew exponentially because um, it's, it's finding myself in a new space. Um, I've hosted on other shows before and I've performed here and there at smaller things, but to do it both together every week is, is something that's a challenge, but also something I'm so looking forward to. And I hope that you guys can experience the journey with me because um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a learning, learning journey for me too. And it means a lot that all of you are supporting and all of you are tuning in so thank you so much and on that note hi to everyone who's joined with us um let me know where you guys are from i know that earlier we had some from las vegas from mexico um and from america hi from australia thank you guys for tuning in um our next question is from novi underscore gudarin Sana magkalap po kayo ni Stephanie sa SNL. You two are my faves. Grabe, napaka-talented si Stephanie. She's so young, but she just has this light when she's on stage. And she's so, so kind. And then she just emits that aura of just like, you just feel like you can go up to her and really just bond with her. And she's so, so sweet. And um, her along with a lot of other artists that are on the show, grabe yung prod numbers. Really, really excited for you guys to see it because the amount of talent that they have at such a young age, I'm so in awe. And I think it's really a cool thing to be a part of because you just, you just know with certainty that one day they're just gonna reach such a high level because they're so young and so talented already at such a young age and so confident on stage. 
to, when I was like 16, 17, when I was on stage, I don't think that I would have that much confidence. So, nakaka proud. <laughs> um, another question from Ezekiel underscore Long Goddess. How do you feel? We are here to support you, Queen. Thank you for the support. I feel nervous and also really excited. Um, again, this is a brand new show. It'll be the first uh, episode this Sunday, so I'm really excited to be a part of its its beginning um, and also to see what you guys will think. Hopefully, it makes you happy. Hopefully, it entertains you um, as we come into your homes through your, the TV5 channel every Sunday just to bring a bit of joy and a bit of happiness to you. Um, and then we have a question from uh, uh, you Raj Tamang. Hope I said that right. Mom, if we miss it by chance, then can we see it the next day? If yes, how can we, ma'am? Um, at the moment, our program is only available on TV5 on the day, but hopefully we'll be coming to more digital platforms to be able to reach more of you. Um, and yeah, but please tune in this Sunday. It's at 12 noon exactly. Um, invite your friends, invite your family. We would love to have you guys party with us. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited, guys. I know I keep saying excited, no, pero it's just kakaiba yung feeling when you're at the beginning of something new. And um, during this pandemic, with my work mostly being from home, I've been able to travel just a little bit during this last leg, but it's mostly being within a comfort zone of being at home and being mostly on digital or interacting with you guys through my different platforms. But um, it means a lot to be able to now just do something different and, and to really like challenge myself and to also be a part of something good. Um, so it, it's it's a huge pleasure. I'm very, very grateful to have this opportunity also with TV5 and with SNL. Um, and I hope you guys love it as much as I'm growing to love it also. Um, and with that being said, I hope that wherever you guys are watching from that you're doing well. Um, how are you guys? I hope that you're all safe. Um, for those students who are studying online, how are you holding up? Um, for those who are working at the moment, for those who are staying home, sending you guys all love to wherever you're watching from, uh, forever in the world you're watching from. Um, and I am really, again, really thankful for the support that you guys have showed um, through this project and all my other projects. Um, and yeah, just really happy to have you guys. Uh, next question from Angela Migulas. What's the feeling working with Maha Salvador for the very first time? Actually, I was so a fan of her just from her dancing, from seeing how she performs on stage and um, to be working with her and being able to see her perform every week feels really, really cool because of course, as I'm um, going into the realm of, of performing and incorporating dance into my performances, I really look up to her um, and the way that she's able to just give her all every single performance. I am really in awe of that. And, and she's so, so sweet. Um, um, and, and I just, yeah, the rest of the co-hosts actually, um, it's, I feel like we're going to become a family throughout the show, which is really nice. Um, and also I'm just going to learn so much from them, which I think is a great opportunity also. Oh, I have a question here about, oops. Uh, from Jess Neil Harton. Um, is Sunday Noontime Live an entertainment variety show with exclusive live performances only? Um, yes, all of our performances are live, but also we do have portions where we really get to sit down and know the artist. So instead of expecting a performance, performance, performance based every Sunday show, um, you'll actually get opportunities to really learn about the artist, what inspired them, uh, maybe dun sa kanta mismo, what were they inspired by, if they wrote it, um, how they prepare for their performances, and any other personal cuento that may, they may have. 
um, which I'm excited about because you guys know that I love storytelling. I love knowing about the heart that goes into different things that people create. And music is very much that. Music is very much an art form. So I really look forward to seeing and learning about our, our Filipino artists, how they are bringing something new to the stage and what their personal journey is for them to be able to do what they do. Um, and you guys can watch out for those stories on the show on SNL Live also. Um, next question. Did you enjoy your time in Zamboanga from I love strawberry berry. <laughs> um, I love Zamboanga. It was fantastic. Um, it was my first time there and I actually have members of my team who are from Zamboanga. So I already heard great things about it. Um, but being able to go there and firsthand experience it was something 